Hey everybody, good evening. Welcome back to the workbench here at Scale Models Midwest. As always, David here, Altoona, Iowa. Hope you're having a good day. As you can see, I have brought back out to the workbench the charger that I was planning on building for the number 99 Ron Keslowski. Um, as I detailed in some videos a few months back, um, I was really looking forward to doing this. It's based off of the Richard Petty 19. 73 Dodge Charger and I liked how I saw a lot of builders in the Builders Club doing different kits. Uh, one, Marty Robbins. I would love to build a Marty Robbins Dodge Charger. Someday I very well might. And just today I actually saw a 1974 Charger model where I believe it was Herschel McGriff driving for Petty Enterprises for a few races in 1974. Uh, that one looks really sharp. But then again, I've always been a big fan of Herschel McGriff, and um, someday I'd like to build the Dodge Charger that raced in Le Mans. So that's going to be way cool. But going back to this kit, uh, I decided on the number 99 of Ron Keslowski, and just wanted to do something different, something I hadn't seen anybody else do. But I wanted to put some detail in it because I've been watching Clay Kemp's videos on YouTube. Go check them out. They're fantastic as well as the uh, article from issue 212 in um, Model Cars Magazine, I believe it was the April issue, where Wayne Stevens' Richard Petty Charger build was featured. And I just wanted to kind of take a little bit from each of those guys and try and apply it to this model and see if I can step out of my comfort zone and then some and do some builds. So. Some of it might work, some of it might not, but I'll show you what I've got going so far, what I have for plans. Uh, obviously, I went and I purchased from Model Car Garage the Photo Etch for the 73 to 78 Dodge Charger. Right there, if you're doing the same. The Photo Etch for the Model Car Garage is just phenomenal. I like them so much, I'm actually going to pick up some more packages of other kits that they have available. Uh, in addition, I, after watching Clay Kemp's series on building a seat, just a basic black seat won't do, so I am going to use the Model Car Garage seat belt material, just the right width, and if I don't have enough of the black ribbon, I'll use the white and use a black sharpie, but I've got the seat belt hardware details. It says for drag model cars, but I believe I've got another one for the NASCAR stock cars. And if not, uh, I'll fall back to the old s, &S um, racing harness set that I've had for probably 20 years, I think. I'm sure. But definitely going to work on the seat. Definitely going to do a lot of photo etch <clears throat> from the dashboard to the uh, rear panel, the window braces, headlamp assembly. I'm gonna use quite a bit of what's on that detail sheet or uh, put a wet sheet. One thing I also did was, I wish that they had them in just the one size, but I had to buy an entire package from Racer's Edge. What these are, are uh, heat shrink tubing. Come in a lot of different sizes for RC cars. I've got a uh, one-tenth scale Rob McCachron RC car that I had this up for, and they had just the right size tubing that I did roll bar padding for the side, and I've also got them for some of the other bars. <clears throat> I have put roll bar padding in, I think, uh, four of my NASCAR kits that I built in the past year, and uh, I've run out of that small tubing unless I want to use the ones that are red, but um, it's, I tried it with paint, it didn't work. So I'm gonna go on ahead and go back over to the hobby store up in Ankeny, pick up another bag of the tubing. I can always use the red tubing for my RC truck and kind of have fun with that. Um, the engine. The engine I have right here, I've drilled out the valve covers because I'm going to use this pre-wired distributor including the boots 
and I can't remember who made that. I've had these for about five years. I'm down to about two or three sets, but um, if I find the information, I'll put it on my description. One thing I did have just recently is uh, a gentleman by the name of Mark Dunlop from Off the Sprue. I saw his stuff on the web. So I went on ahead and picked up some of his machined aluminum pulleys as well as the belt material and I am going to put that on the engine and I think that will really make it stand out. So that one I'm really looking forward to doing. And finally, um, I did use a couple of Jim Rogers' um, 3D printed exhaust dumps instead of going with the uh, one that's on the sprue. I went on ahead and said I'm just going to use the exhaust tubing that exits on both sides and we have some fun with that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. The radiator shroud, I've seen this before. Radiator shroud like this. Yeah, just toss it. I went and I uh, cut one out of real thin aluminum, basically a pop can. Sanded the bottom, I still have a little bit of sanding to do. But that's gonna look really good when I put it in front of the engine and it should work. Uh, fire extinguisher, I think that's about it I've got here. Um, I have to find a face for the gauge and I think I can find that in my decals spares. And then other than that, hopefully this weekend I'll have some of the stuff started as far as uh, the sub-assemblies getting put together. The seat belts, I hope to have that done and on the seat by this weekend. And who knows, maybe even the interior done. The one thing, and maybe you guys can give me a suggestion on it, I think I'm going to have to go into Harbor Freight um, and find a really, really small pin vise drill set for the brake booster. Looks like it's a dual setup where you can have one line going to the front end and one line going to the back. I have really thin brass rod. This is a little thicker, but I've got an even thinner one. And I'm just wondering if it's worth trying to drill the holes out so I can put the brass wire in and then run that back to the rear end and to the front. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've never done that before. I'm just wondering if it's a little bit too much. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got right now for the car. Like I said, it's back on the workbench and we'll be working on this for a while. I've got another kit I think I'll build while I'm working on this one too. I've yet to decide on which one, but uh, I got a couple in mind and I'll show you that come Saturday. But before I go, um, I wanna show you two shop cards I got in the mail. First one I got, finally, I got one from Hobby Time with Papa Dan, right there. And I really like that card. Nice and colorful. He uh, said some nice words on the back. One thing, um, he said, uh, stick around. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming up on his channel. He's gonna do a deformed cartoon group build hosted by himself and uh, Colonel Reb scale models. So if you're subscribed to either one of their channels, keep an eye out for that. I certainly will. The most recent challenge I was in for the 48 hour build where I did the Pontiac Firebird. Okay. Loved it. And I even loved the one that we did for the um, Highway Patrol cars, the cop car build challenge from a couple months back. So definitely, if you're into challenges, go for that. Then um, next, um, thank you very much, Papa Dan. Appreciate that. The next one, I got a couple of cards and a decal from Frizzo's Model Cars right there. I've been looking forward to that. Every time I look at uh, Jason over at Blue Ox Models and he's got all these shop cards on his wall, I see where mine's at and then I see all these other shop cards and I go, man, I've got to get those. So I look at his and I look at Time Machine Models and I'm just going, I just want to collect those too. So I'm trying to see who all has what 
and then try to reach out and ask for their cards and yeah it's gonna be kind of cool but still Frizzo's model cars look at the diorama setup he has Pontiac Stalker uh, looks like a Ferrari and uh, 32 Ford and then of course a nice card there simple but I'm into the old rods, so that's pretty cool. Um, he's going to be working on some more NASCAR builds, and he's also going to join the uh, Salvinos JR Club. I highly recommend it if you haven't joined a club like that. Give it a look. Um, yeah, the kits may be a little bit more expensive than what you see in the store, but it's worth it because you also get extra decals each month. I mean, how cool is that? But uh, thank you very much for this card, sir. I appreciate that. appreciate the kind words that you left. With that, um, I don't have anything else to say other than, you know, thanks for checking out the channel, as always. Appreciate your support, and we'll just catch you in the next video. Keep building. Take care.